I, I could tell you for me, um, I think rep- uh, reparations are due. Um, I think both of y'all said some stuff, um, make amends. Um, I, I think, Trash, you said we built this country, and Rhonda, you said it's it's overdue, look, the pain and the suffering, right? But yeah. I, I, I honestly think they can't pay enough, right? Mm-hmm. So, so cause the country, the the companies that were built, there need to be a fund that constantly come from some of those companies that's still around, and mm-hmm. and get put into that fund as part of our company. Right. Like like that's what will get us built up. Right. I think um, stolen patents Mm. need to be, if not given back, but need to be put into a fund. Some of that stuff off the, 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 the revenue need to be put into a fund. And then all of us can be able to tap into that at will. Right. Like wow. you got to pay it back, but we tap into it and it got to constantly be replenished because those companies are still going. Welcome to the We Got Problems podcast with co hosts Curtis G. Martin, Rhonda L. Brown, and Khalif Johnson C. The one and only podcast where solutions get discussed to our community's everyday troubles. Each week, you will hear mind blowing conversations and actionable tips and strategies that you can implement in your daily life to become more effective. We got problems and we got solutions. All right, you guys, welcome to the show. This is We Got Problems, the podcast. I'm Curtis G. Martin, and I'm here with my co host, Khalif Johnson Sr. Peace, y'all. How y'all doing? Rhonda L. Brown. Hey, everybody. And Miss LaChica Phillips. Hey, everybody. Hey, you guys, today we're talking about reparations, right? What the money? Show me the money. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> hey, hey, you guys, so a lot of people hear about reparations. What are reparations and um, why are they necessary or are they necessary? <laughs> they are necessary. We've Talk been held me. back. We've been, look, everybody else been at the, been kicked past the start, the starting line. It's about time we can at least make it to the starting line. That's my opinion. <laughs> For sure. I don't know. So reparations, the first word that came to mind is it's not technical. It's not philosophical. It's just payback. <laughs> I mean, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Why is it important? It's important for a lot of reasons. I think that, and I haven't looked it up, but I'm, pretty sure somewhere in the Oxford or Webster's Dictionary for Reparations, it has to probably mention a word like amend, right? Or, yeah, making amends or, um, you know, trying to fix something, trying to repair relationship or repair something that was broken. And I think that when we look at other communities across across the country, across society, um, we look at the Jews, right? And I'm not trying to compare what our Jewish brothers and sisters, you know, ancestors, you know, what they've gone through. However, when you look at their suffering and their story, they were able to get reparations in a lot of different forms, a lot of different ways. Right. And then um, our Asian brothers and sisters. Right. Same thing. Um, They've been able to get some type of reparations, not to mention our indigenous brothers and sisters. Right. They also getting that. Um, So I think that when a group does not get reparations and you've seen, um, I don't know, hundreds of years of abuse and I mean, trauma. Um, I think that if that group does not get it, I think it sends a message. And I feel like the message has been sent, signed, sealed, and delivered. And to me, the message is we ain't getting it. But What do you think, Trash? It's the message. Reparations are something that after you commit such an atrocity to a people, and they their their seeds are gonna suffer for years to come because of the atrocity that you've committed. Mm. Then you decide once they get of age, or they think that it's been over long enough, they go back and say, "I'm sorry," kind of money. And I don't think we've ever gotten that. They they promise us things after they said, "quote unquote," slavery was over. They promised us things that never came to pass. And so each one of our ancestors have been living 
with making it with the constant reminder of everything it took to build this country. And you see it everywhere we go. We see these businesses that are up. We see the pictures and the history of what happened to our people. But no one was ever given anything to say. Like you said, she could say, I'm sorry. Or, you know what I mean? Like, this was bad. This was a mistake. But in, instead, what they did was build these multi-billion dollar companies off of it. And they continue to... They still got their foot on our throat in short terms. They they keep the foot on our throat and the people that look like us. And it's never, ever any accountability. And money is just a way of at least saying that we're trying to start start to do right. But yeah. like Lysica said, they not, they, they never started that. They ne the Indians, you got certain land, casinos, tax breaks. You start talking about the Asians, when, what they did with Pearl Harbor, they constantly still paying back for that. When you start talking about what happened in the Holocaust, they're constantly paying back for that. These are all atrocities that's happened, not just here, but all over the world, where they've taken and said, here's your, your settlement for what happened. And the people that look like us never even remotely got a chance to hear or see any of that. 40 acres of mules never happened. Well, well I, I could tell you for me, um, I think uh, reparations are due. Um, I think both of y'all said some stuff, um, make amends. Um, I, I think trash, you said we built this country and Rhonda, you said it's, it's overdue, the, the pain and the suffering. Right. But yeah. I, I, I honestly think, they can't pay enough. Right. So, so cause the country, the, the companies that were built, there need to be a fund that constantly come from some of those companies that still around and, mm -hmm. and keep put into that fund as part of our company. Right. Like, like that's what will get us built up. Right. I think, um, stolen patents mm -hmm. need to be, if not given back, but need to be put into a fund. Some of that stuff off the, 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 the revenue need to be put into a fund. And then all of us can be able to tap into that at will, right? Like wow. you got to pay it back, but we tap into it and it got to constantly be replenished because those companies are still going. I got right? a question uh, like off topic. Did y'all ever see that picture that they use of the slave with his, the webs on his back? Yes. With the dude looking back. They uh -huh. found Actually, I, I think it was Harvard that actually put a hundred million dollars in the fund to the family because that picture was of one of their ancestors. And then that was their way of paying back reparations because Harvard and all of these schools that are like legendary for this country were built off the backs of slaves. For sure. You uh, raised that. And uh, I didn't know that, uh, Trash. Did y'all know that slave owners got reparations? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually did. For for them freeing the slaves and they had a hard time. <laughs> right. Isn't that wild? Yeah, no, definitely. Man, and so I mean, for anybody listening, like we're not just pull information out of the out of the sky right you can easily go to any search engine and look up uh one of the books that really dives in deep about reparations for slave owners um is called um they were her property and um we can put the information in the show notes but they were her property is um a great book that really dives into um, not just historical information, but what I like about it, it's, it's a research. It's, it's all about research. And the sources that she used to substantiate um, everything in, in the uh, book, she's using court documents, right? She's using um, uh, information from insurance companies, right? So we're not just saying, you know, white folks got reparations just to say that, like, it is documented. It is true. Um, and so, yeah, it, that's, that's wild. And I know that a lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can reparations go beyond financial compensation to address uh, systemic inequalities? Man, the housing market, credit, I mean, health care, education. I mean, can I keep going? <laughs> Retirement, Social Security. <laughs> so many ways. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think um, 
free education or 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 get some schools built and then we maintain them you, you know it, it's 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 a lot of ways but yeah but i believe if when we were doing that that's when we were at our peak as a people mm -hmm. We were self-sufficient, relying on ourselves and building our communities up. That's the biggest threat to this country of all time. Us actually depending on each other, working with each other and building with each other. That's the biggest unstabilizer to this country's status quo. But isn't that a self-inflicted um, um, like circumstance for them? Like We're not a threat by being self-sufficient right like we shouldn't be a threat by being self-sufficient that's insecurities on be. somebody else right like we shouldn't be we shouldn't be that, that what you said is we shouldn't be hmm. but are we we're definitely a threat well we I, I i i know so so this conversation of reparations man can take us down so many ways because yeah. when, you, when, you, when you talk about us being self-sufficient and us um when they really like when you talk about slavery and they say you can't eat at this restaurant you can't and then we decided you know what let's have our we'll own restaurants those yeah. restaurants went down yeah. right so now thus martin luther king was born and 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 i still love my brother but he 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 kind of changed what we had going right like the malcolm matulu there's a lot of leaders we had that came along at the same time that don't get the notoriety that they needed because what they stood on was power to the people and you hear artists like Pac that come along birth from that generation and you see how he was assassinated and you could say it was a gang beef or whatever he was into but at the same time those type of hits aren't done by mistake and, and then like i said this this conversation goes so deep right because it, it comes out to where um it was opportunity like mm -hmm. if me and you beefing that's an opportunity for somebody else to come in and do whatever they want to do right like so mm -hmm. and i just got done watching a show about how this country went through the whole crack epidemic and who funded it, how they funded it, and where the money came from, and how the drugs got here, and where it went to, and why it was specifically done like that. And then at the end, what they were doing to the people who they, they used as scapegoats. So this country's been run by dirty politics for a long yeah, time. We're here 20 years from now that the COVID money was to fund Ukraine, right? Like, Right. Wow. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there, but <laughs> wow. yeah, we're, we're, we're on the air. Wow. This show, you're going to have a little, uh, gonna have a little disclaimer on there. Yeah, no, I'm just, <laughs> that, that, like, I don't have no truth behind that, right? But I'm just throwing it out there because that's usually how, like, like, Cause, cause then you see, then you see. I'm gonna just throw this out there, and we can move on. But um, they came out with some some numbers and some some stats on COVID, and then they said um, it, the information won't be given out for 50 years. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. <laughs> right, like so. So <laughs> most of the people that was fighting will be gone, and then it'll be like, wow, that was cold. They shouldn't have did that, and then that's just it. It is over. Yeah, yeah. But you, uh, Curtis, I want to go back to something you you started talking about. You started talking about um, in terms of how reparations should be dispersed, right? Like, I'm, I'm curious uh, for us to just kind of dive into that for a bit. Like, you talked about these companies that we see, um, you know, it says like established since 1811 and 1720 <laughs> something. I mean, you know, like you gotta be bold nowadays to post something like that, right? Especially if you were not <laughs> doing something around like social impact, like really you promoting this? So I don't know. I, I, I just want us to kind of think about that. Like, how should it be dispersed? Who's who should be responsible? The federal government, the individual companies like you talked about. And not that we're going to come up with an answer like a concrete. But what do y'all think? I got a question. Uh oh, a question for a question. A question for a question. How can reparations go beyond financial compensation to address the systematic inequalities? So, so um, I think, like, like I was saying, that money who who would be in charge? Right. That's that's Jesse like Jackson. 
That oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I ain't looking for Jesse Al Jackson to be in control there. of anything, right? Like, but like they gonna get Al Sharpton up there. They gonna um, get the, the, the ones that see, they see, already see, none, of, none, of, none of them, right? Like none of them, right? Like it need to be somebody that you 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 know that that been talking the same message for years, right? Like you need somebody that's that's knows our history and been fighting for our history, not fighting with the cameras. And then when the camera's mm. off, they, they gone and you don't see them, right? Like, mm. I, I I thought, I man, I'm, I'm going to tell you, just to be real, Al Sharpton, I just seen him because of the little brother on the, on the subway, right? Like, I hadn't seen him in a minute. Like, why I don't see you when it's just time, right? Why right. I don't see you to see you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you should always be seen and heard if you're uh -huh. a leader, right? Not when the cameras are going. Right. Right. So I, I, I'm looking for somebody that that that's going to that been pushing a message. They've been trying to get us to be financially free. Somebody <laughs> yeah. that, that's that's serious about um, economic empowerment. Right. Like, I, I don't know. It, it, it's it's only a few people out there. Right. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not many. We get, we need some queens up front. Like we, we focus so much on trying to get a male up front. We need some queens up front. I, I truly believe that a woman will be the one that changes this whole outcome for us as a people. We 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 rely so much on our men to be strong and be the ones that's out there. But some of us men got to fall back and be strong to make sure we protect our queens as they go out there and swing. Well, we need to work as a people and we need to work as a group. It doesn't need to be one group because the way the history has it, they pit us against each other all the time. And we we get so focused and caught up on who doing what with what that we actually never get anything done. And that's the chaos and confusion that we always have. If anything, the Panthers were probably the best group that we've had to go for it. And they were all, they were on the FBI's most wanted list. And you had you a know, lot of women within that group as well that that was on the forefront, of, right? Yeah. A lot uh, of. Them. I, I, I agree with you, trash, but I I think we can't wait on a woman and we can't wait on a male. Like we, it, it got to be whoever's doing the work, and we got to learn to get behind our people, right? Like yeah. like first thing we do is like we want to see results too quick, right? right. We, we in that instant gratification to where if you don't have the school up now then you're not good in the school. Where's that money at? And what you doing with the money, right? Like um, museum go up and then people saying, oh, it ain't big enough. It ain't good enough, right? Like mm -hmm. it, it no matter what we do, we so divided and everybody want to have an opinion with these phones instead of like really putting in work, right? Like uh, when it comes to come to mind for me that nobody's listening to, uh, I shouldn't say nobody, a lot of people, but the masses don't know who he is. It's Claude Anderson. Claude Anderson been mm -hmm. telling us, what we Dr. need to do on, on on a on on different tiers, right? Like he he been putting yeah. it out there, and and nobody's saying anything, or 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 his message get probably algorithms, right? Like right, like <laughs> he get hit by the algorithm somehow. Yeah. So you know now, you, you know we get, we get to running from some of these conversations, but I I we we shouldn't have to run from conversations when it's out there, right? They haven't yeah. they have they they in Congress talking about it, right? That the FBI was in having meetings with Twitter, right? Then they start working for Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. Like they they in embedded within Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. Like so so they they shutting certain people down, right? Mm -hmm. And then when this guy bought it and opened it up. You know, some people say he on that side, too. It's like, we don't know who's on what side. It's just somebody else pop out. And then now he's going to make it look like truth. But he's fighting for that side as well. Right. So yeah. I think I think we have to um, when I see trash. Hey, what's up, my brother? You got something I need. Then I support that. Right. Like I'm like, I'm, I'm going to tell you all one one thing I did. And I used to go to this cleaners. Um, nothing against no other people, but I used to go to these cleaners and they did good by me. I always, I was a faithful customer. And my mother said, why you don't go to the guy down here, black guy on this cleaners? And so I went to him and I was like, shit, man, put my clothes. It was damn near, um, a 50% hike on the price, right? Like mm -hmm. if I pay a hundred bucks, I'm paying one fifty with him. So I was like, okay, how can I go to this guy? You know what I did? I started wearing my jeans twice mm -hmm. instead of putting them in the cleaners every time. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So now my bill got cut in half. Now I'm even saving some money. Mm -hmm. Right. So I was able to do it. And then the price hike didn't didn't hurt me. 
Uh, I love that. Right. Support our, we have to support our community and we have to be willing to support our community and let our community support us in return. Like when we say, like I do my build on wheels in the morning, you know, Monday through Friday, I, I wake up, I make sure I get on and I do my build on wheels. And it's just a, a reminder that I'm tapping in with the community and we have to tap in with our community. We have to be outside. Like my team is the one that made me, reminded me that I needed to be outside. I need to be the face up front dealing with it. But once we get out there, we have to support one another. Like support, support is actually free. You don't have to have money to support someone. You can repost something that they do. You can announce that they have an, a pop up somewhere. You have to support one another. And once we start supporting each other, it can actually we can start building our own reparations within our own community by actually putting our monies back into the community instead of getting being so quick to disperse our money outside to all these other entities that don't care nothing about us. I was watching a, a thing where they had um, an Asian lady up there talking about how they, they, they specifically planted Asian stores in melanated communities so they can extract the money out as quick as possible so we wouldn't do business amongst ourselves so we stopped going to the candy house or the candy the, the candy house got shut down so we get, got to go down the street to the corner store where natasha got killed you know and, and they don't have any for our babies our babies are slaughtered at an alarming rate and then they put all the confusion in front of us now we slaughtering each other nips talked about the person who he would go hunt for looked just like him had the same clothes on dressed like him walked like him oh they're gonna my enemy that's who i gotta go assassinate but we look at the dude in the business suit that's putting our grandma out the house and saying that they foreclosing on the property because it's unpaid taxes and we look at them and we scared these are the things we need to address within ourselves and our community. If we don't address those type of deals, then we don't stand a chance. All we're going to do is tear it down, whatever we built up. We got to start pulling some of this hatred out of ourselves and start loving what's in the mirror first. Once we start loving ourselves and our queens start getting back to their natural hair, their braids, wearing their froze, just wearing their natural hair, and stop putting all this glue and gunk and all this piles of makeup so get back to seeing what's beautiful in the mirror. Stop changing your noses. Those big wide noses are beautiful. You know, people <laughs> are see people start <laughs> looking now at you got butt. everybody looking at their nose. Uh, <laughs> look. look at her butt. It's so get big. Oxygen it's big up here. Now everybody's <laughs> trying to get those big round butts now. The same things our queens done have for years, so they mimic us. They mimic us and they try and tell us that we ugly for how we look, but they try and go tan themselves as dark as they can get it, crispy brown. So but, they but can but kind even of even with that, their- how about showing us the money? Like like for for the for for the um um all the bad business they've been doing, right? Like so I, I still think like we need to have a group. I, I you know what? Everybody needs to be come to the table. It's just not an American thing. Oh yeah. Right, right. Like so 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 this a UN thing. It is. <laughs> right? Like like all of these countries need to come together and and, and you, you you know we need to post our flag somewhere and say this is our land. Mm. These are our people. Mm. And we go from here. You and, make, and, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. No, just the just the funding that like like you you know whatever like I don't follow the Ukraine story, but I know they've been giving billions of dollars, right? right? So them billions of dollars supposed to come to us like that, and then we get our stuff on 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 top, right? Like we get our stuff right, and then leave us alone, right? I think that's the the key thing is just leave us alone. We don't want to be bothered, right? Don't bother us. Let us build. We're not gonna we're not gonna like like the stuff that's happening to us now is because of the conditions. Mm-hmm. So once we fix the conditions, don't put more conditions on top of us, right? Like even with big the league. money, don't put no conditions with the reparations, right? We like, need more big leagues like Big Three, like Ice Cube bit the league for retired and old veteran NBA players. That's four NBA players pay them a a, re- a, a fair wage, and it's done. It is done within the community of us. And we, it's for us, it's by us. Because as long as we have these big companies that are trying to go after our babies, they're starting younger and younger attacking our babies. 
you're not going to get reparation when they put them on a save block once a year and say, oh, you've just been drafted. This is what they do every year, and our babies are signing up because they don't know any better. They don't know soccer is an international sport that you can go out there and make millions of dollars off of because that will take away from stronger, bigger, faster here at home. And the moment we start getting our babies out of the, oh, I'm trying to get this NIL money. Yeah, we want you to get NIL money, but get it for the right reason, not because you're going to go potentially injure your whole life and change your life forever because you're trying to go play this sport that they ain't going to never tell you how much they're making on the books. How I, I have a, a valid question and not for us to try to tackle it tonight, but you said something really significant, Curtis, a minute ago about there being no conditions. Okay. We just got to sit with that for a second, right? Because how and who are going, I can't even, okay, look. Government. How are we going to know, like, who is going to be eligible? That's that's what I'm getting at. The how are we going to determine who is eligible for reparations right now? Hold up, because we can't <laughs> say, we can't say. If you African American, you are eligible. We can't say that, right? No, because we're not African American when you really think about it. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> how are we gonna determine who? Hey, hey, who hey look, I, I used to be at this event with this white guy. We used to we used to work the event together. Both of us were coaches, right? And he um he um he said, "Man, I'm African American, white Ooh. guy." He like I, I was born in Africa and I, now I'm American. Yep. Right, he's African American. He is, and but you know, you born you, in America, right? And if you think back, even with even with the indigenous, when they started, you know, giving them stuff back, look how mm. many others said so, so, they were to but, get. But you, so, so, so that's why the the see when you talk reparations with that part, the indigenous people, like you can talk any people. We was there. Mm -hmm. When you talk any people, we was there. So, I, like, honestly, I say I'm indigenous now. I don't say black. And let me fill out a form. I'm putting indigenous. Right? Like, um, I remember listening to a, a quote uh, of um, Malcolm X. He said, you guys don't want to be aboriginal. You don't want to be indigenous. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But that's who you are. Mm. The moment you realize who you are, you can stand on something. Because we don't have our identity, it's been stripped away from us and we're confused as a people. So we try and change our hair. We try and press and perm our hair to look like them so we won't get oppressed. We try and lighten our skin up so we can try and get the jobs or be accepted by the ones that the brown paper bag will. You know, they, they had so many different stigmas on us that we didn't know what to be for so long that we we we're trying to come back into finding ourselves. I was so proud to see so many of our young kings and our young queens to actually rock their crowns in the past five, 10 years, it's changed the whole makeup on how our babies see themselves as what's beautiful. And this is something that we really need to celebrate and nurture and build on. But some of us still call it locks dreads because they don't have a, a, a clue on the history of the words and why they call them dreads and, and why they tried to make it a bad thing to lock your hair. So some of us are still caught up on the same stigmas that's been embedded in us for so long, just like going to church. People don't realize what Nat Turner was talking about and how he was trying to use the Bible to free our people. But they were beating it into him. And he, he went to slave, he went to different plantations preaching the gospel to the slaves that wouldn't listen. That that story was crazy, but we we gotta get our own and we don't need to be prosecuted. The persons who are governing need to be forced by us. Yeah. So and we need to know what to do with if if we do get reparations, we need to know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. That's what we see on TV. Mm -hmm. We need to get some land. 
property, businesses, land, land for sure. And then try and figure out a way to stop them from trying to come in with eminent domain and, you know, what else, whatever, what other tricks they get up their sleeve to try and get it back. Mm -hmm. Such a good point. Like reverse reparate, like y'all, it's a got to pay it back. Right. <laughs> pay back, pay back. Or you got to you got to pay taxes on it every year. Pay taxes on it. Right. So y'all remember they was talking about um my girl going on a twenty dollar bill, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, so so right. Like what? What is the timing of her going on a twenty dollar bill and it ain't gonna happen because it's going digital? Oh, <laughs> you, you know. oh hey, 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 look, 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 look. What about what about what about what about them give us all this paper money and then the shit turn to nothing? Oh, come on with it, Curtis. I see what you're saying. So, okay, hold up, hold up. So, in that world. In that world, all of us get ten million. We get ten million. You get ten. You get ten. Everybody. Everybody. Gets and, then and then boom. Oh, the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. That's real. But damn, something to think about. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey, y'all. This reparation conversation could go all day, right? Right. Like, <laughs> So I'm going to just say, hey, you guys, we got problems, <laughs> but we also have solutions and we are. From the team at CRC Empire, we want to thank you for listening. To stay connected with us, like, share and subscribe to the We Got Problems podcast. You can find us on social media platforms at Curtis Martin 247, at Rhonda Wright's Official, and at the underscore trash underscore vegan underscore. We got problems and we got solutions.